Hi everyone, I've made this brief video to give a bit of information about my lab and what it might be like to work at Yale. I get a lot of inquiries at this time of year about these sorts of questions and I'm sorry that I'm not able to answer everyone individually in a huge amount of detail, but hopefully this video will provide some general information and if you have additional questions you're very, very welcome to, uh, to contact me. Uh, so first of all, a question I often get is what sorts of things do I work on and what am I working on at the moment? So in general, my lab, my research group does work on language documentation, language change and cultural evolution. So we work with um, language users, uh, particularly speakers of Indigenous Australian languages in particular, but I also supervise students who work in other areas of the world. Um, we do language documentation, so we figure out stuff about the structures of, uh, of languages around the world, and uh, we do work on how they change over time. I take a pretty broad view of these sorts of things, so we also do work in cultural evolution and phylogenetics and, uh, and things like that. And while my work is focused in particular on Australian Indigenous languages, we also look at Australia in global perspective. So I supervise work on languages outside of the Australian continent um, and students in the past who I've worked with have worked on uh, languages of uh, pretty much pretty much all around the world. Uh, I particularly encourage students who uh, want to work on their own languages and um, particularly students of Indigenous heritage um, as uh, as well, although not entirely, uh, entirely that. Uh, a big part of my work is also public outreach, so I take that very seriously, working not only on general sorts of education questions about language and linguistics, telling the world about language and linguistics, but also working in conjunction with Indigenous communities on language reclamation questions to the extent that uh, we can be useful in an academic setting, uh, setting working with, uh, with communities in different parts of the world. Okay, so that's in general, the sorts of things I do specifically at the moment, I'm working on a couple of projects related to, so one related to negation and how negation changes over time in Australian Indigenous languages. We have another set of work on sound change and stability in phonological systems, again, in Australian languages, but not exclusively so. And finally, I'm doing research on archiving and language documentation and archival methods and how those archival methods can be uh, improved. I have a long-standing interest in technology and language documentation, and so we do a lot of work on that sort of area as, uh, as well. I currently have PhD students who are working on a pretty big variety of topics. Um, someone's working on syntactic change and prediction forecasting, thinking about forecasting methods and how they can be used to understand more about language change. Um, someone else is working on the phonology of Abkhaz and stress systems. Uh, another student is working on reduplication in uh, Tohon or Adam. Um, so lots of different things to, uh, to work on. Uh, okay, so that's kind of general sort of idea about PhD projects, work in the, the lab, students and so on. I get a couple of questions pretty frequently. Probably the most frequent question I get is, are you accepting students? So are, is it worth applying to the PhD program if, uh, if, if someone wants to work with me in particular? Um, now, I need to mention that Yale, like many US programs, doesn't admit students to work with particular faculty members. We admit students to the program in, uh, in general. So it's difficult for me to answer a question like, are you accepting students? Because it's not up to me who's accepted to work with me alone. It's uh, a decision that the whole faculty makes jointly. So um, students who are accepted to our program, I'm very happy to uh, to work with you. Um, if I, I typically do um, work with most of our grad students in various ways over the course of their, their project. We are a pretty small program. We have uh, nine faculty, tenure track faculty members and postdocs and lecturers. So we have 
groups of faculty who work in a number of different areas, but our students typically will work across disciplinary divides. One of the advantages of our program and one of the strengths of our program is the way in which students can work on language documentation, language change, linguistic theory, computational linguistics, ex experimental work, um, phonology, syntax, semantics, morphology, and um, and so on and so forth across the, uh, the faculty. So um, the short answer is Yes, I'm accepting students. Uh, the longer answer is that it's not up to me directly who is accepted to the uh, to the to the program. But you are very welcome to apply to uh, to our program on the expectation that if you want to work with me, you will be able to uh, to work with me. Um, I also get a question a lot. What am I working on at the moment? I gave a little summary of that earlier, but when we accept students to the PhD program here, we expect that students will come with their own research projects and their own research interests. And so it's actually pretty rare that I assign topics for students to work on, certainly at the PhD level. It doesn't never happen, um, to put it that way, but more often students will come with a particular set of research interests, I have a particular set of research interests, and we work out something that they want to work on and that I am able to supervise them um, on. So it's probably not so relevant to about what I am uh, particularly focused on in terms of papers and things like that, but more do I have a set of general research areas and research questions and do you have a set of areas that you're particularly interested in that uh, that I'm able to uh, to help with, or that other members of the faculty are able to uh, to help with as uh, as well. I do a lot of joint supervision with other faculty members, not entirely, not exclusively, but um, we have a fair number of students who work with multiple faculty members, as uh, as I mentioned before. Um, another very important question is what sorts of jobs are available to students who graduate from the Yale PhD program and in particular what sorts of jobs do students who graduate from a PhD with uh, with me get and that's again pretty broad uh, for the students who I've supervised in recent years some have gone on to tenure track academic jobs uh, some are in postdocs some are in um, temporary positions of various types, some are in industry positions, and some have uh, pursued other interests. And I'd say it's all good. Uh, we, our PhD program is uh, focused on preparation for the academic job market. Um, we also encourage students to pursue other options. Basically, it's a win for me if my students end up in positions where they are happy and where they're using the skills that they have uh, they have acquired in the course of their PhD. Um, and so I'm very happy to discuss those sorts of uh, questions very early in the process, in the PhD process, as well as later on throughout the time in the, uh, in the PhD program. But basically the short answer is, my students do a, a large variety of things, um, everything from uh, academic type jobs of various types um, to uh, to other types of research or uh, or other types of jobs as uh, as well. Students often want to know what their chances are of getting into the Yale PhD program. And that's a difficult question to answer specifically. In general terms, I can say we do get a large number of applications and we're only able to admit a small number of students each year. We only admit students who we can fund. So all of our positions are fully funded for five years with the option of a sixth year. That includes a stipend, tuition and uh, and benefits. We also have options for research funding, for uh, for field work and for, for research and so on. And so that means in a typical year, we might make roughly seven offers and uh, we admit uh, of those uh, seven offers, we, we often have a class of three, four or five in recent years, PhD students. Um, we get over 100 applications each, uh, each year. And so that means we have to make a lot of choices that, difficult choices that, uh, that we don't wanna make. Ideally, we would admit many more students than, uh, than we're able to, uh, to admit each, uh, each year. 
um, things that can increase your chances of being admitted to our program, um, having a good reason to come to us, um, doing things that are, or being interested in things that are a good fit for Yale faculty, um, not just because of you know, replication of academic lines and so on, but because we want to be able to um, uh, help our students and work with our students to the, the best degree we're able to. And so that means capitalizing on our strengths and our research uh, experiences and opportunities and uh, and so on. Um, so for instance, if you want to do applied linguistics or second language acquisition, um, applying to work with me is probably not a good idea because I don't have experience in that area. So uh, I can't help you do the best sort of dissertation that, uh, that, that you can do. You would be better served going to a program that uh, that has expertise in uh, in that area. Uh, is there fieldwork funding at Yale? Yes, there is fieldwork funding at uh, at Yale. We have the Macmillan Center for International Studies, and um, the Macmillan Center has also traditionally funded work with Native American Indigenous communities as uh, as well for linguistic fieldwork. At least we have a good track record in NSF DD rig applications, doctoral dissertation applications, and we have some de departmental fieldwork uh, funding opportunities as uh, as well. A number of our faculty also have research grants that have supported graduate students in uh, in doing field work as uh, as well. Uh, people often ask for general information about the Yale PhD program. For that, I'm actually going to send you to our website, ling.yale.edu, and to the Director of Graduate Studies, Vanita Dial, um, vanita.dial at yale.edu, if you have questions that are not covered by the general sorts of information I've given at the, uh, at the moment. So um, things that are particularly relevant are the application deadline, which is December 15th each year, the funding package, which I mentioned earlier, five years of funding with the option of a sixth year. Um, our students do not teach in the first two years of their program. They act as teaching fellows in the third, fourth and sixth year. The fifth year is a dissertation writing fellowship. Uh, as I mentioned, we have fieldwork funding opportunities. Uh, we have a very active research group in language change and in language documentation. Uh, we have a number of other reading groups as well, which are also extremely active and, um, and, and productive and collegial, but, um, but they are not the ones that I'm directly involved, uh, involved in. I also have a research lab which um, involves undergraduate students, grad students, postdocs, um, and, uh, and me as a, a faculty member. Um, if this general video hasn't covered questions that you have about our program or about the um, about the lab in particular, you're welcome to uh, to email me. Um, thanks very much and looking forward to reading your application.